Good morning, Taconic, and welcome to a brand new episode of The Thunder Report. We have a great show coming up, so let's get going. Today is Friday, January 12th, and it's a half day. First up on the show are a few stories from the Berkshire Eagle. After that, we have an interview about a new CTE program and much more. But first, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We are nearing the end of the second quarter with grades closing on January 26th. Next week is the last gold week of the semester, followed by one last green week to end it all off. There will be no school next Monday in observance of Martin Luther King Jr. Day. So, enjoy the nice long weekend. Attention seniors! The senior week schedule rough draft has gone out in Dr. Bishop's weekly newsletter. Along with this, end of the year senior expenses for things like the senior trip and caps and gown are on the horizon, so look out for an email for that soon. In more news for seniors, Dr. Bishop is looking for designs for the Class of 24 yard signs. Email ideas or completed designs to mbishop at pittsfield.net. In partnership with the Berkshire Eagle, we have a few stories from the past week. Matt's over in Studio B, so let's head on over. Thanks, guys. Let's get right into it. A 178-acre parcel on the east side of Route 7 was sold to Berkshire Natural Resources Council. They plan to cut a hiking trail through the Farnham's Hill Ridgeline near the Cheshire Town Line and eventually link to the Oshawa to Cook Rail Trail. Hikers are free to begin using the parcel immediately, although there are no marked trails or maps available yet. The trails will be cut in 2025 once a management plan and trail plan have been designed at a cost yet to be determined. Beth Mills, Director of Land Conservation, Berkshire Natural Resources Council, jumped on the listing for several reasons. Quote, to shore up a whole corridor there between the Taconic Ridge and the Cheshire Reservoir for protection, says Mills. Six months into working as superintendent for lending schools, William Collins is scoring high marks from the community and his employer. Collins' goals as superintendent are emphasizing school safety and security, equity, and improving school safety drills. Great Barrington is helping homeowners who can't afford housing repairs with no interest loans for up to $50,000. The program can help the 24 households who have health code violations such as broken windows or doors, leaky pipes, roofs, or furnaces. The eligibility also depends on the size of the family. The application materials can be found by clicking the planning department's link on the town's website. For more information, please go to BerkshireEagle.com. Now, back to the studio. Thanks, Matt. On February 12th, all freshmen will be applying to their CTE programs. This is a big decision, and we wish all freshmen good luck. Speaking of CTE, now that it is January, juniors are now eligible to go out on co-op. If you're interested, check out the guidelines in Dr. Bishop's newsletter. And if you have any questions, email kconant at pittsfield.net. Next up, we have Alex and Malik with the lunches of next week. All right, guys, so we're going to go see what lunch is looking like for next week. Let's check it out. There's no school on Monday because it's Martin Luther King Jr. Day. But on Tuesday, there's going to be a pizza bar with cheese, barbecue, chicken, and buffalo chicken pizza. Wednesday is protein-packed nachos with refried beans and corn. On Thursday, there's going to be chicken enchilada. And on Friday, we'll be having pasta with meat sauce, dinner roll, broccoli, garlic, and parm. We hope you all enjoy next week's lunch. Thanks. The Taconic Winter Arts Night is next Thursday, January 18th, from 6 to 8, 8 p.m. here at Taconic. The student art exhibit will be from 6 to 7.15, and the band, theater, and music presentations will start at 6.30. It'll be a great time, so you should come check it out. Taconic will be having an open house at the end of the month. The school will be open to the public on January 31st from 5 to 8 p.m. Still coming up is an interview about a new CTE program. But before that, we'll be right back after these messages. Do you have a busted Chromebook? To get a new Chromebook, you must fill out the request form. To find the form, see the link below or it's available in Dr. Bishop's newsletter. You'll then be put on a wait list. Once your new Chromebook is ready to be picked up, you should get a call from a member of the IT team. When picking up your new Chromebook at Mercer, please bring your old Chromebook along with its case and charger. That's all, now back to the studio. Hey there, Taconic! Have you ever wanted to watch Taconic TV but haven't had the time? Well, do I have news for you. Our podcast, Up on Taconic, is streaming now. 
This podcast offers a great new perspective on our show with a more in-depth look at some segments from the main show and exclusive things only seen on the podcast. Now, I know you may be thinking, how might I watch such an amazing podcast? Well, you can stream it on sites like Spotify or CastBox, or you can listen to it live on WTBR, which is at 89.7 FM. So get ready to learn, laugh, listen, and enjoy to an all-new audio experience. And as always, back back to to the the studio. This week, Malik interviewed Miss Simons about a new CTE program here at Taconic. So let's go check it out. We are here with Ms. Simons, the CTE supervisor at Taconic. Thank you for joining us today. Hi, thanks for having me. So we understand that there may be a 15 CTE program coming to Taconic. Can you tell us a little about it? Sure. We are really excited that we have applied for an environmental science program application uh, as our 15th CTE program here at Taconic. And as part of that process, uh, you know, we're hoping that we'll receive full approval to move forward with that program by the end of the year. So there'll be more information coming, but we're really hopeful that we're going to have this program ready for September. All right, great. What has been the application process to make this into an approved state program? So when we apply for any new CTE program, it's a two-part process. And part A is determining what our needs are in the community. Are there enough positions for this industry? Are there enough job openings? Are there opportunities for people to be employed? So that was the first part that we needed to provide data for that. And then second was was putting together, you know, uh, looking at are there any other programs around? And there really aren't any. We're the only, we would be the only environmental science program in all of Western Massachusetts. So we're really excited to move forward with this. All right, thank you for that. How would students enroll in the program if there was no career exploratory class to educate students? Yeah, that's a fantastic question because you know right now all of our ninth graders are going through all of the exploratory programs. Um, And because they don't have an exploratory for this, uh, we're going to provide as much information to students as we can um, if they want to apply for 10th grade, but they would be able to apply for a, a spot in 10th grade and then all ninth graders next year will explore environmental science. And what type of students is this program intended to attract? So this is, think of this as, you know, the people who are really invested in taking care of all of our open park spaces within the community. So all of our trails and outdoor, you know, outdoor experiences in Berkshire County, we need uh, those professionals to help maintain those spaces. And we also need people who are researching, you know, how we can make our environment better and continue to make environmental uh, processes great here in Berkshire County so we can keep our beautiful spaces the way they are. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much to you, Ms. Simons, for telling us about the new program. We appreciate you joining us today. Now back to the studio. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Well, that's all we have for you today. As always, if you have any news you'd like us to report, please email us at TV at pitsfield.net. Remember to take responsibility, have respect, and strive for excellence. Have Have a great great day, day, Taconic. Taconic!